subscribe to our YouTube channel for more recipes. Please subscribe. Hey Vito, good to see you. Hey, good to see you too, Steve. How are you doing today? Man? I'm doing great. I'm excited. Yo, man. Yo, we're right here in Flatbush, Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house. Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> and uh, we're going to shake Brooklyn today with uh, our uh, Ukrainian traditional soup. His name is Borscht. Wow. Yes. And so, we're going to show people how to do it the oh, right way. Oh, absolutely. Like step doing, by step. Absolutely. We got everything, so just get ready, you know? Let's do it. All right, Vito. So we're ready to make the magic. Let's go. So what ingredients we're going to need to make the soup? Mm -hmm. So, um, in a traditional way, serving for four people, right? Like a couple portions to cook, we need uh, is the main point, is the, the beef. The beef, okay. the beef, all right. The onion, great base to fry. Mm -hmm. a carrot for the brain. Yep. And uh, potatoes like a base. Yep. White vinegar. Green cabbage. Oh, I love green cabbage. Yeah, green cabbage, you know, helps. It fills you up, it's healthy. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of reminds me of broccoli, but a different way, you know? <laughs> and uh, red pepper, uh, like tomato yeah, base. So yeah, I'm agree. Tomato I'm base, you just put a little bit, it gives you the flavor. The flavor, yeah, 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 that's yeah. It. and a little bit color yeah. also, you know? So we have uh, black pepper, paprika, we have uh, salt, we have uh, beans, pink beans, it's called a pink beans, oil. And, uh, and we have some bay leaves. Yeah, we have some bay leaves right here also for the flavor. Oh, and also we have a garlic, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, and also the main foundation for the soup. Broth, right? Beef broth. Pork, it could be chicken, it could be Whatever anything. you prefer. Whatever you prefer. But, I mean, you can even try to mix it up. Make some kind of, yo, you know, mix if you want, like with a pork and beef. But I would just stay with the beef, like in a regular way. But right now we use a half a pound of sliced beef. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, we, what you do, you cook it together with salt pepper and some paprika so you see this is what's going on after an hour and a half because the meat is boiled yeah and after that we brought it down to medium and low and it cooked for another hour so this is your foundation for the soup mm -hmm. so what you see the the meat is nice and soft and then you got the bay leaves so all the flavor is here so the next step what we're going to do add the rest of the ingredients so Vito what are we going to do first so we started up peeling the beet okay and peeling the carrot and then we're going to cut them so now we're shredding the beets and the carrots so now we have to shred the beet in a separate bowl and that's what we do So we'll put a little bit of oil, right, Vito? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. just a little bit for the start. Okay. Let's warm it up. And now we're gonna put the beets. Okay. Yeah, just mix it up a little. And um, let me just, let it just... We're gonna let it cook for like yeah. five minutes and then we're gonna put some of uh, the broth in, right? Yes. Yeah. Like medium fire, not too big. So it's kind of like stewing it, right? Yeah. For the onions, one for the onions, yeah. and right now, while it's warming it up, we're gonna add right here the broth. We're gonna add inside. The so right now it's been about four minutes. Some this kind of. This has been of, cooking yeah. about four minutes. So now we're gonna add one spoon of the broth. Like in a little bit more. Okay. I didn't get the full one. Okay. Didn't have the full one. When and the fire like... is still on medium. Yeah, it's not too big. It's gonna warm it up right now, right? So okay, let's just let's just uh, stew it inside the broth. Okay. So we're gonna like squeeze the garlic yep. inside. Let me just find it. Uh, this is the garlic. Here we go. Garlic onions. Ooh, I put a little fire down so the yeah. garlic not burn. This one I stir in sometimes yeah. so keep it not fired it up. You know, not burn it. This is ten minutes now. Sometimes so it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. One tablespoon of white vinegar. Oh. It's right here, just to keep the color of our beets. Yeah. So now I'm adding also carrots. Okay. Adding carrots to the onions, and we fried it all together. So, let's just do it. Probably add a little bit more oil so it's not burned. 
keep the beets and the onions with the carrot. We turn it on the broth. And, uh, we keep cooking the onion, just making sure it's not burning. You know, make a clean flavor with no burn. Yeah. So we clean the potatoes. So we use a full medium potatoes for the soup. Yeah, on the carrots and uh, onions, garlic. Mm -hmm. Let's mix it up like this. Okay, let's roll. Oh, look at that! The flavor! So, oh my God! So our broth is ready. I'm checking the meat inside so it's not stick together. And now we're gonna add the. Beats. The beets inside to reach the whole flavor, you know, oh, just nice. gently, gently, boom, boom. Oh, then it started getting color already, <laughs> you know. This one started the magic the happens. Magic. That's it. Yeah. Right Thanks, now dude. we see it's getting ready and it started keeping boiling together. So now we're adding the the carrots, the onions, the, the garlic. Yeah, all this combination together. Uh, I mean, yeah. that's great ingredients. Good ingredients makes delicious food. Yeah, true, right? This is the recipe. So let's do half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have the potatoes, the and the red pepper. You want to join me to add it? No, no. You good? You got All the right. blessing yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You look like you have uh, everything in control. I'm trying. I'm yeah. trying. So the oh, next wow. thing we do is the green cabbage. Yes. So we have a medium green cabbage. So we're just gonna use half. I love green cabbage. So the soup is boiling? Yeah, with potato, with peppers, with carrots, onions, garlic, and beets, everything ready inside still. So right now, we should add this uh, beautiful cabbage. Green you know? cabbage is so yeah. good. I don't it's know, so I'm gonna eat it little by little because I don't okay. want a soup be too thick, but I still want it to be thick a little bit, not too liquid, you know? So let me adjust all this part for now. And if we'll need it, we still have more, right? We still have a half. So we're just gonna add another maybe quarter or something. What I tell people when you make something healthy, it takes a little time. But mm. if you two people, you can have this for three days. Yo, I gotta tell you, it's really have to be recorded. I remember one day I was wanna be a vegetarian. I watched the Simpsons episode when Lisa became a vegetarian. I came, yo mom, I wanna try. She's like, I have a time to cook for two people, all right? So you're gonna eat what I'm bringing to you. Uh, you can you can argue with this. I'm yeah. like, okay. So my mom, she was working hard, so to feed everybody in the family, like uh, her brother and her mom. So she cooked once big pot of soup, or this soup for the whole week. You see, you, that's what I'm saying. You come in, in the, you come in, in the second part of the day. All you need is a hot dish. Yeah. Then maybe a little, you can fry some, I don't know, potato on the side if you want. You know what I mean? Some little dish no, to eat after. But this, like you mean, you have this one, that's it. So we're probably gonna add some beans now, right? So, but you said we have to wash them, right? I like to wash the beans. So that way, you know, it takes away the extra salt. Clean beans. Okay, and we add it to the soup. Ooh, fiber, protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, look at this combination. <laughs> So the potato is like a checking point when the whole thing is ready because potato gets to be ready. You know, but still we we'll start getting ready, but I would give it a little bit a little bit more time. So the whole flavors combined together in this combination. You know, let's just boil it. I think so, so maybe we'll put a half a teaspoon. A half, half a, a tablespoon. Half let's, a tablespoon. Let's, put, let's put like yeah, let's do that's good. Let's see what that. So, on the condition of the potato, I see, it's getting ready. Right. So, I don't want it it's overboiled, and I to get it too thick. So, now, we feel it like it's almost ready, and uh, we what we just do, we just turn it over the fire, Put and let it, it stay, let it stay like 10, 15 minutes, and then we're ready to serve the dish. Everything becomes one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what do we have here? It's Ukrainian salo. So basically it's like a bacon from the pork, but in Ukraine, we're not eating the meat part, we're eating only the fat part. So it's kind of combination with the mustard, black bread, and, and basically the fat, you know. And we have another one. It's more like, so this one is like more 
And this one has a little pieces of meat inside, so you can see the difference. You can see yep. the difference. So, because I just decided I have to try both. If you want to try the tradition. Right here, it's a, I mean, it's my pr prefer. Okay. I, I prefer the, I prefer some uh, pickles. So if you don't want the whole one, you're grabbing like a little, you know? Yeah. You grab no, I middle. understand because everything on this plate has different flavors. It brings yeah. something to the flavor. I was you mean so totally. So the rule is you pick in the bread you want. Okay. Pick in any bread you want. Okay. Take it this you want this one. Take some mustard one. Okay. You pick any meat. Any meat, yeah, any salad. Okay. We call it salad. Okay. I don't know, it's maybe it's just okay. Ukrainian. Put that one. on the top. Put it on the top. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now uh, so everybody have their own formula. What's my formula is, is uh, you have this all set up ready. Okay. You, you prepare it. I'll put this, I'll put this. You also take a little bit of green onion. Oh, Boom, nice. it's right here for you right here. It's for me right here. What we do first, we do the yeah. first spoon of soup. Okay. Just to uh, refresh the flavors inside. Maybe I would even add a little bit more black pepper for the flavor, you know, I feel it. Like my grandpa used to do. Yeah. Oh, you want I, some? Yeah, I love pepper. Pepper is great. I mean, especially it's kind of like a rule too. Especially yeah. in a soup. Uh, so, you know, and it now. It, it brings it alive. And now, okay. you prepare. You have a shot, you bite, and you eat soup again. Okay, sounds good. This is kind of like a rule. Alright, I watch you first. So, yes. cheers. Cheers on uh, Ukrainian, it's Budmo. On uh, Greek, is Viva. A viva. Viva Budmo. To you know? health. Happiness and success. I'm agree with you, man. I'm agree on that. <laughs> mm. Just feel it how it's open it up inside mm. you like a flower. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Yeah. It really works. Oh yeah. And now we can add a little bit of sour cream on your borscht. Okay. You know, to mix it up, the whole flavors. I mean, everybody I just adding. love everything. You know what I mean? Everybody just... adding for the flavor. But if you will be in a village, any yeah. granny wouldn't let you eat it without the <laughs> without the sour cream. I don't know, oh man. Oh my god! You know, mayonnaise is killing the flavor, but sour cream is just gonna mix it up all together. You know like, it is. I took a bite. It's like I'm holding myself back. I want another. You know? I know, yeah. right? Oh my god! This man. see, that's what I told you. It's like the combination of thickness of sour or sweet of uh, onions. You know, this whole combination is making together the soup. Mm. I don't know. It's like polish it. I never, it, I never ate anything it. like. I never ate anything like it. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful you try it eventually. You know, it make me do it too. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Oh man. I feel like home. You know. Thank you, man. But Thank what you. I want to talk to. You. You know, to to you about it is like how you came to New York, uh -huh. and uh, what you done, and what it was the vision behind it. So, I guess it was it was all the American dream was bringing us right here, right? We're looking for the better place, for the better opportunities for us and for our families. Kind of how, dream. How old you were when you came? I came when I was twenty years old. Wow. Yeah, and um, did you have any family? Did you know anybody? No, just came by myself. I mean, I kind of knew Ricky Powell, so this kind of was like... But you didn't really know No, him. no, nobody really know nobody. So, you know, maybe it was really crazy decision, if you're looking at this back right now, but I'm glad I tried myself because it's really helped me out in life. I just... But you, know, you had the vision, so you saw yourself being in New York to be a photographer? No, never. Uh, I, I become... The dream become a photographer came up after I met Ricky because okay. it was so much of inspirational and good mentor for me and teacher and friend who just like gave me the pass to get my head busy, do something while, yeah. while you start in it right here. And the photography is a great tool to get through the American life and uh, again, uh, show it to the... Cause uh, I found photography the point of, I can show the people why it's so good for me. Because I see it in this type of way, you know? And I want to show the people why it's so cool because uh, I see it in this in this angle. And in this angle, it looks so perfect for me. So I'm just trying to show through my vision, the work's supposed to speak by itself. I'm right. not supposed to, if I show you the picture, I'm not supposed to talk about the picture. The picture's supposed to talk oh, about right. itself. So for me, is find the best picture to people look on it and just share with them their experience because I guess the best which you can do in this life, uh, if you have some experience, share it. 
Absolutely. You know? The thing is, you had to be reliable. For somebody to teach you how to be a plumber, it didn't happen by self. It happens with trust, responsibility. True, true. You know, so you were there. when the, You know what I mean? Somebody yeah. who trusts you to teach you that, yeah. it's all about trust. It's also, you know, it's also funny because it's uh, look like the plumbing for me, it, it's worked like a discipline. So, and I started use this discipline like in the life, basically like everywhere. It's like a method which you can use basically in any time of life, in any situation of life. So I even start putting in photography. Basically, I'm treating photography in the same thing like plumbing. I come in, I have a prepared project, what I have to do, prepare these pieces, and then we're gonna have a result, you know? And uh, I'm never gonna play around. So because the plumbing make you do from zero to the hundred. If you're not gonna do some ways proper, eventually, even if you get to result, it's yes. fuck you up in the middle, you know? It's gonna get you. Yeah. So you can play around. It's like if somebody is. if somebody asks, did you check it's leaking? You're gonna say yeah, I checked it's leaking, but it's leaking and you didn't check. Oh, somebody gonna have call you and you're gonna be responsible for that, you know. Yeah. So then you every time thinking twice, you uh, checking everything twice because you wanna make hundred percent sure you're all, right, all good, you're all right, you can be moving forward. You're gonna get your money. And some people, what I noticed in New York, if you do the honest job, people call you back all the time. Yeah. Just you just do it on his job. You don't care about prices. You don't care about who you are, how you present you are. The job speak for itself again. But look, I want to show people the T-shirt you gave me today. Oh yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. Beautiful yeah. T-shirt. Thank you, thank you, man. Is it Ken Paquette? Is my yeah. homies from Ukraine? So Ken Paquette basically mean like homie bag. Okay. So you and me in a homie bag. Okay. You have resources. I have res I had a resource of the zoo. You have resources of the show. We combine our resources and make something happen together. How about the back now? Well, about the back, so this is the combination of the... Uh, so basically, this is the flavor of New York, right? This is what New York is, is the, it's like Ricky Energy, is this building, is this money all around, the cream, right? Okay. Cash roll everything around you. This city, this building, and this is Ini Yan because it's all energy is around the city. So basically, it's like collage of photo, but it's combining and give you a definition of what the city is like. You know, man, that's I what I love it. about you, man. Detail, detail matters. Yeah, details is all important. That's you know? it. Yo, guys, I think Yo, I thank you so much for this opportunity. It's the greatest thing, man. Yo, eat with Steve over and over. You know, only the greatest experience, the greatest oh, food. Thank you, nah, man, man, for real, man, for real. It's really good. Thank it's you so much, it, man.